Portrait Readers, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little chillax um, talk with me um, about my reading plans for 2023 and um, if I accomplish my reading plans from 2020. So go ahead and grab your tea or selected cozy drink and um, let's just have a chat. My tea currently is a little too hot for me to drink, but I did just get this cup from Chris for Christmas. It is um, grow through what you go through. You got this. Super cute. <laughs> and I also have um, some green, or not green tea, but some cinnamon and orange tea. So <laughs> if you wanted to know what I'm drinking. Also, um, <laughs> I just wanted to, to have like uh, the background be the my, all my books, <laughs> so yeah. Um, also, I got them in rainbow order right now, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying that. <laughs> Let us talk about my, basically every year I talk about uh, my do the end of year survey. Um, this survey was created by a booktuber named Books in Lala. So yeah, and I also like kind of tweaked it a little bit um, to like for answering my questions personally. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, 2022 was, I feel like a pretty good reading year, um, honestly. Um, you know, I only read 47 books, but it was actually pretty good. I did enjoy, like, some of the books that I read. Um, also, I moved in 2022 in July and realized that I had way too many books. So I went to owning, like, almost 600 to 700 books to about, like, 300 to 400, which is that. That's really good, honestly. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. Um, I went through every single one and just like read the back synopsis and some of the first chapter, see if it hooked me in and if I was interested. And yeah, it was um, saving strength for me, carrying it three flights of stairs, or actually two flights of stairs, and also like saved, like, you know my bookshelves. <laughs> um, I feel like I wouldn't have been able to do organize my bookshelves in rainbow order without doing that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I feel like 2022 was a really good book year for me, even though I didn't um, get a whole lot of reading done, I still, still did good. <laughs> um, so like I said, first question, how many books have you read in 2022? I read 47 and my goal I believe was like 60 something, but you know, 47 is still good. Second question, what was my most read genre? So I, for me, I track genre two ways. So I have two different answers. So genre part one would be basically what age range it's for, like if it's nonfiction, so like pretty much <laughs> not really an age range. Um, if it's a YA, middle grade, and adult. I mainly read adult books. <laughs> um, and then I used to separate my bookshelves into these genres, so the actual genres of um, I have a couple, so uh, paranormal, thriller, horror, I think, or no, that's part of paranormal. Um, paranormal, thriller, uh, science fiction, fantasy, contemporary, my favorite authors, which um, is Michael Crichton, Nora Roberts, and kind of Stephen King. I just own a lot of his books and I just want them all in one go. <laughs> um, and then, uh, let's see, series and nonfiction books and I believe classics as well. Um, so a lot of categories. 
So the most genres that I've read, most of the genre that I read was adult. And in the second category of genres, I read a lot of contemporary fiction, um, which honestly, I was thinking as a reader, <laughs> I thought that I was more into science fiction books, which, you know, I love me a good space opera <laughs> and I love me a good like weird scientific phenomena going on, um, <laughs> Michael Crichton, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm actually like realizing now starting this channel and stuff like it's been like since 20 I'd say 2020 um I started this channel in 2019 but made it officially a book related channel in 2020 I feel like um yeah I realize now my reading taste is very much contemporary and family dramas and all that I just spilled my tea on my leg <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that was hot. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, chaotic. Um, but yeah. Oof. <laughs> still, still good. <laughs> still, still going hot strong. Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> can't believe I just did that. Okay, next question is favorite book of the year slash least favorite. So my favorite book of the year would have to be Elvis and Me by Priscilla Presley. This is a memoir based on Priscilla's experience uh, being married to Elvis Presley. And my grandma was a very big Elvis fan. And um, I just was interested in reading this. And honestly, it was so, so good. I loved the heck out of it. It put me in a book hangover. It was so good. <laughs> um, so if it ever interests you, I'd say definitely, definitely read it. Um, and then my least favorite was uh, Go Ask Alice. Um, just because it was kind of boring. It was very much written from its time, which was like the 1970s definitely felt like a younger 1970s book uh, like for a younger audience and didn't really make sense and also like it kind of demonized like drug use um and also demonized like straying from the path and being an outsider and I just did not, didn't, it wasn't the vibe, you know, that's not the vibe that I am. So yeah, it, it was my most hated book for uh, 2020, 2022. Um, all right. And as well as my most disappointing read, um, which is the next question. Um, and I feel like it was a big disappointment because a lot of people I heard that it was really good and that it like, you know, it's very well known, so I thought it was going to be good, and absolutely not. Um, if I could rate it negative one stars, I would. Um, yeah. And then the next question is most overhyped book of the year. That would have to be The X-Hex by, I believe, Aaron Sterling. Um, this one, you know, I, I heard about it on BookTube, and... Um, was really interested in reading it and it it honestly like sounded so good and then I read it and um, I feel like it's a bit overhyped. <laughs> I only rated it two stars. Um, it wasn't very good and um, it's kind of boring so yeah. <laughs> and then the next book or the next question is most underhyped book of the year. That is Married with Zombies. Um, I've never, ever, ever heard of this book, um, but I discovered it on my trip uh, trip to the thrift store uh, in Denver. And where I go to the thrift store, I just pick out books that sound interesting. And yeah, this one sounded really interesting. And 
I absolutely loved it. Um, never heard of it before, but it was like an interesting twist. So it's like this married couple who is going through a relationship havoc uh, in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. And it's really good. It's really funny. I love the writing and I feel like it's super underhyped. So if you, that sounds interesting to you, just read it. <laughs> um, then my longest and shortest book of the year. I feel like the longest book, so I had Goodreads answer this for me. I believe my longest book was part of the Vampire Diaries series. I'm not sure which one it was, but about like 699 pages or so, and I did not like it. <laughs> uh, if you've watched my vampire vlogs, I absolutely like don't like um, the Vampire Diaries like as a book. I've never seen the show, but yeah, <laughs> uh, there's a spoiler warning for you. <laughs> But yeah, um, and then I believe my shortest read was a comic book, which was, I think it was Batgirl or Archie Volume 3. I think it was Archie Volume 3. Um, so it's a comic book, it takes place in the, as we all know it, the Riverdale universe um, with Archie Andrews and Betty Cooper. Um, yeah, I grew up with reading the Archie comics, so... I've only seen Riverdale, like, the first season, and I, like, part of the first season, I absolutely could not stand it. I feel like the show went completely different from what I was expecting, but, you know, I love me a good um, Archie Andrews, uh, you know, book, so, um, and it was a comic book, so, yeah, it's obviously a shorter read. Um, anyways next book <laughs> or next question <laughs> biggest reading accomplishment uh, that would actually be dnfing the vampire diary series by lj smith i've honestly like been waiting forever to like collect these books i remember reading them when i was in middle school and then i like loved them and then i read them in high school <laughs> and i like literally read four books in the span of two days <laughs> and I like wanted to read them all and so I've been collecting them all these years and I finally had my whole entire collection, the whole entire series, read them for vampire vlogs as a 23 year old adult instead of a 16, 17 year old child <laughs> and um, absolutely did not like them. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, the biggest reading accomplishment is DNFing those. I was like, should I, you know, like, I don't want to, like, I'm like, I want to DNF them, but, like, my 17, 16-year-old or the heart would, like, break, and, yeah, I ended up DNFing them and also giving them to the goodwill, so, yeah. Um, uh, next book, or next question, <laughs> book that made you cry that was a lilac girls um so it's like a world war ii historical fiction and like oh my gosh it was it was so good i absolutely loved it um amazing made me cry <laughs> um yeah and then the next book book that made you laugh was <laughs> ice planet Barbar barbarians because it it's steamy and it's ridiculous and it's perfect and I loved it. <laughs> um, and I know I was reading most of it on an airplane and thank goodness for the mask mandate on that because I was blushing the whole four hour plane ride. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Next question. Uh, new favorite author and least favorite author. Um, so I only answered the new favorite author. Um, so that would be Becca Fitzpatrick. Like I've 
thoroughly enjoyed her like the hush hush series um so like i feel like she's like a really good author uh so far and then also sarah decent like you know her books are decent and um i'd love to read more of them and i actually picked up more um i don't know they're like cute YA romances and stuff and i just i want to get into her <laughs> um the last question how many books have you hauled and unhauled so over the span of 2022 i have hauled 98 books which is so much <laughs> um but i've unhauled 247 books which i mean ooh, <laughs> i'm just gonna just pat myself on the back um yeah that is amazing one of the goals of this like starting my channel was like reading my whole entire shelves and um yeah <laughs> so that is that's that's amazing that i was able to get rid of all those books and then um the books that i've hauled how many i've read from my hauled pile was seven which you know it doesn't sound like a lot but like for me I'll haul books and I won't read them until like a year later. So that is a good reading accomplishment. Cheers to that. <laughs> All right, talking about my new year goals, uh, reading wise, um, I have some for non reading wise. I'm just trying to get healthier um, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got a gym membership um, right now on the camera. I'm pretty excited because my face looks feels like it looks slimmer. So that's really good. Um, yeah, but anyways. <laughs> my reading goals for this year, 2023, I want to read... My reading goal for Goodreads is 47 books, which is how much I read last year in 2022. And I still want to accomplish that. But I also, like, realized, like, you know, like I said, starting this channel, I really wanted to go through all the books I own and I read them, like, read them. Honestly, all the books you see behind me, I've never read. <laughs> um, or I've read a long time ago. There's more up here. Um except for the Throne of Glass series right there. That's all that I've read that you can see. Um, and there's more behind this shelf, which is my series. Um, but yeah, and there's also more books in front of me. So it's a lot. Um, so honestly, oh my gosh, <laughs> sorry for moving the camera while I'm talking. So honestly, like that was my goal was you know, using this channel as motivation to um, read all my books. And, you know, like I said, it's been like three or going on four years now, and I still haven't accomplished that goal. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to take it upon myself to try to accomplish it and read a hundred books <laughs> um which is crazy but i know i can do it if i write read 10 books a month i can do it um and yeah um and honestly i'm gonna make a video of all the books i've like unhauled in throughout this year and like talk about my experiences you know and how many books that I have left to read after this year um I was very much inspired by Chandler Ainsley's uh channel she did the same thing as me but she read 193 books which is the ones that she haven't hasn't read right now my unread pile I think is like in the 300s <laughs> um yeah it, it's it's ridiculous but um I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it done you know I'm gonna get it done and you know um yeah like I'm gonna make a YouTube video about it um I actually have a box here that is full or not full but it's very empty but it's 
unhaul box of 2023 books. Um, and I'm hoping I am going to fill it by the end of the year, or at least try to. <laughs> um, yeah. And yeah, that's, that's a big reading goal <laughs> accomplishment. Um, you know, and I think it'll be really good for me because honestly, like, for me, I'm gonna, you know, this is Book Buyers Anonymous. So, hi, my name's Nicole, and I am addicted to buying books. <laughs> um, and, you know, do I read those books? No, not, not for, like, years. <laughs> so, um, I honestly, like, want to get in the habit of after reading all the books on my shelves, I want to get into the habit of um, only buying like at least like 10 books, you know, at most. Um, and like before buying any more books, reading all the books that I buy. Because like this, you know, r not reading books and keeping them on my shelves fully intending to read them but never getting around to it is like really stressful and it's honestly personally taking a toll out of um the enjoyment of buying books and reading them <laughs> and um it's kind of exhausting like don't get me wrong I love my bookshelves um especially since ever since I like made them into the whatchamacallit the rainbow order but like honestly like I don't know it's I'd like to collect the books and have own them that like I can go back and say oh I read this and I enjoyed it you know um so yeah <laughs> um it's a big reading accomplishment so I'm definitely gonna do it um yeah and let's see and like as far as like this channel you know this channel's gonna stay after i've read all my books that i've owned i own on this like uh in the world i guess i don't know <laughs> um like you know just because it's a reading goal like of this channel a goal of this channel doesn't mean i'm gonna stop filming um, you know, I used to think that I was going to stop filming after <laughs> reading all the books, but like, honestly, I enjoy YouTube, I enjoy making content, making you guys feel cozy, and talking about books, honestly, especially ones that you haven't, maybe haven't heard of, <laughs> and recommending them, um, but yeah, I'm here to stay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just, I don't know, like, yeah, anyways. The, also another goal for, not this channel, but like posting-wise, this channel. Um, I want to post every Tuesday, um, and I don't really want to miss a week, um, and like not post for a while. Um, my goal is to post once a week every Tuesday. Um, at like around 12 Mountain Standard Time, <laughs> um, which I live in Colorado, so yeah. But um, yeah, I'm so far doing good in <laughs> uh, pre-filming and stuff. Um, I also want to post like, you know, like more reading vlogs and um, want to talk more about the books that I'm reading currently. Um, so, you know, if you like my mid-month check-ins, um, and my, like, TBR videos, they're here to stay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, I started off filming on the floor in this YouTube career, and, um, I don't know how I did it. My legs are falling asleep, man. <laughs> um... I think that is my cue to call it, call it a, call it a video. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this more relaxed style video, but yeah.
if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you'd like. Um, if you would want, you could, you would like, you can subscribe to. I post every Tuesday about video uh, books, <laughs> and um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.